What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, and welcome to my playthrough of The Binding of Isaac. More specifically, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and even more specifically from that, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. This is the new DLC that came out last Friday. So for those of you who do not know, The Binding of Isaac is a roguelite game by Edward, no, Edmund McMillan, not Edward. Edmund. Oh, this is new. So, I haven't really played much Binding of Isaac. I will have to say that I'm not very good at it at all. So, you know, those of you who are here looking to see somebody who doesn't really know much about the game, just kind of figuring out what to do, what all the items do, and how to play, then this will probably be an entertaining series for you. For those of you who want to see somebody who really knows how to play a lot and is really good at this, then this is not that playthrough, but I hope that you still find these videos to be entertaining nonetheless. So, alright. Already really liking the new music in this. Alright. There we go. I am playing with a with a a uh, gamepad right now. Actually, I'm not playing keyboard and mouse, so I feel like I do better when I'm not doing keyboard and mouse for some really odd reason. All right, so we have one key here. I am not going to use it on that chest just quite yet because I want to have a key for the item room or the treasure room, whatever you want to call it, when we when we finally get there. All right, here. Let's head to the right here, see? All right, we have a really long corridor here. Now this is, I believe, new for for Afterbirth. All right, we are taking just absolutely stupid damage here, which is not good. But like I said, I am by no means an expert at this game. So I'm assuming that the, the first few episodes will be somewhere around 15 minutes or so, and then as we get better at it, then we'll start doing one episode is one run. And those runs could be any sort of length. Oop. Alright. Let's gotta kill this scrotum fly here. Alright, we do have another key. So I am gonna head over here and I'm gonna pick up this health. And I'm going to open this. What do we got? Blasting cap, pop, pop. Not quite sure what that does. But we got a thing, so I can't really complain. Let's keep heading around. We do have one bomb. We are going to be stuck here in a corner, which is two bits of bad damage I probably could have avoided, but that is all right here. So a while ago, I asked you guys what you wanted to see me play. Oh, there was a fire that I spawned inside of. I don't feel like that was fair, but it is what it is. Um, so I, I asked you guys what you wanted to see me play and it was like nuclear throne or or this or a, a few other roguelites and this is what got what got picked so which should not be surprising to anybody who was in that discussion because a hundred percent I didn't say I was good just that I was gonna have fun all right a hundred percent of the people who, who I talked to said, play some Binding of Isaac. That is what we want to see you play. And that is why we are here. Now, I do understand that there are other larger... You know what? We're going to wait to pick that up. What is this? Laos. All right. There are a bunch of larger YouTubers that do play this game. Probably a fair bit better than I do. And I also know that I've been described as the Northern Lion of Realm of the Mad God before, just apparently because my commentary style is very similar to what Ryan would say. So before we got into the series, I did want to say that I am in no way trying to quote unquote like copy what Northern Lion does. It just so happens that... I don't know, I feel like maybe we think fairly similarly. Which is okay. It's all about how you do your commentary. Because as you start doing commentary, you kind of get into a groove, right? Oh, this this joker here again. Alright, this guy's different. He fires in different directions. 
So, so you get into a groove, right? And honestly, if I didn't commentate the way that I do, I feel like I would be lying to my audience. And that is not what I want to be doing. I pretty much just wanted to say this because I know that somebody out there is going to make that comparison. Like, hey man, you, you're trying to copy Northern Line, you're playing Binding of Isaac, and you say words while you do it, and I understand that. But that in no way entitles you to uh, to say that I am trying to copy Northern Line. I feel like that's pretty much where the sim simul simultaneous. My brain is trying to concentrate way too much on not dying right now. I feel like that's where the similarities kind of end. So, obviously he is much, much better at this game than I am. But he's also played quite a bit more. What is this? Anti-gravity tears and tears up. Does that mean they go kind of as far as as they can? They don't they don't dip down and fall. I guess that means that we have the highest range tiers that we can, right? No, they still fall. So I don't know what that means then. All right, Isaac versus Sloth. This is one of the seven deadly sins battles here. Of which I don't really know what I'm doing. So hopefully this goes well. We'll see. I thought these guys had looked different. Did they change what they look like? Alright, so it looks like he throws green bombs everywhere. Want to watch out for that. I do have one bomb which I will not be using. Alright, let's kill him off. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we got the death card. Lay waste to all that oppose you. I'm assuming that means that we should pop it in, let's say, like the... Can I not kill this thing? Apparently I can't. All right. So let's try popping that here in the boss room. Oh, that is mine. Okay, I understand now. So I definitely don't want to be killing it because that's my spider that's that's joining us here. All right, we're going to kind of take things a little bit slow. Isaac versus Larry Jr. All right, that was an easy fight. HP up, perfect. Is there anything that we're missing? We have a spirit heart that we need to grab here. Definitely want to grab that before we leave. Perfect. And uh, I think we, we got everything on this level. Let's just head back down into the ground. Was that a turd that just fell out of his pants? Because that is just just disgusting, but all right. Oh, we almost spawned right into that guy. All right, get rid of these flies before they become a, a pest problem. And we'll just head back down. Are these guys just like breeding flies out of their face? Because that's pretty disgusting as well. I guess that's... That's just the binding of Isaac in a nutshell. I will really wish we could fly right now. I don't even know what that does, but I want to know what it does. And the way that you find out what it does is you pick it up. I guess you could also look it up on the internet. But where's the fun in that, man? Alright. These guys have fat coming out of their face. Oh, he farted on me. Alright. Stay away from... Uh, Mr. Gastrointestinal Disease here. Got another penny. Definitely don't want to go to the boss yet. Let's head back. Let's see what else we got here. Alright. Oh, these worm guys are annoying. Alright. I definitely need to learn how to aim my shots. It's not like other twin stick shooters. In fact, this isn't really a twin stick shooter. Because you can only shoot in the four kind of like cardinal directions. You can't shoot really at an angle unless you move at the same time. Which is somewhat annoying. Don't really want to bother with that. What do we got here? Oh, what is that thing? I don't even know. Gimpy, sweet suffering. What does this do? Should I see if I get anything? Is this, It's like a recycle box? All right, well, that was the thing that happened. Let's 
keep going down this way. Did they change the interface? Because I feel like I should have an activatable item and I don't. Maybe I just need, haven't picked one up quite yet. So we could use a bomb and get that tarot card if we wanted to. The question is, do we want to? There's a charge there, which we really don't need right now. Let's head this way. This is an odd-shaped room. It's like an L shape. I like it, though. Still don't really know what Gimpy does. That guy explodes. Duly noted. Let's use a bomb. I believe it's that. Yep. Okay. What did we get? The Fool, where Journey begins. You mean like Journey, like the rock band? Or you mean Journey as in the really awesome, awe-inspiring looking video game that I have yet to play because I don't have a PlayStation 3. Or is it PlayStation 4? I don't even remember. Do we want to go in here? We do have two keys. Sure. What is this? Oh, it's a store. There's donations. Oh, we don't have enough for, for anything. So I guess we'll we'll just leave. Okay. We did pick up the tarot card. We'll try that. Should we try it here? Let's see. What does the bomb in the rock do? I don't even know. Monstro, we're gonna try it here. Oh, that teleports us somewhere else, I guess. All right, we already picked that up. All right, so that was a waste. But we're not dead, so it could have gone a lot worse. And here we go. He definitely has a cleft lip problem there. Okay. I think also figuring out where shots are gonna land is gonna be an issue for me as well. Just the, the whole dodging thing. And you know what? I'm okay with that because that seems like something that just like aiming is something that will take a lot of time and, and you know, you can't say to yourself that you're gonna be a master at it off of the beginning because then you're just kidding yourself. So far, not having an issue with Monstro though. I mean, we have yet to even gotten hit so far and there we go monstro's tooth has appeared in the basement all right we'll grab this heart over here and this hp and luck up all right let's head back down there's a ghost in the attic flooded caves one all right we have a bandage on our face as well Oh, I did not mean to put, lay a bomb there. Which is really, really a shame because bombs are very useful in this game. Alright. See if we can kill these guys off before they get over here. Before they kill me as well. Alright. Not doing too well here. That is alright. Oh. There we go. Perfect. We'll grab a half a heart and a key. A very phallic shaped looking dungeon we have here so far. That is if you're the three testicled man. All right. Was it Krusty the clav Clown that had? No, he had three. Um, he had three nipples, didn't he? Not three testicles. Never mind. You guys probably already knew where I was going with that comment, so. Get all this poop and we'll head. Keep going this way. See what we got. Okay. I could really use an activatable item. It would really be nice to have just something as a backup or something to, to use. Of course, it won't really help us if we just keep taking stupid damage. All right, we have a pill. Puberty. Puberty. All right. There's a button over here. 
What does the button do? I don't even know. Let's keep heading. We do have a key. Holy water. Splash. All right. Oh, these guys are new as well. I mean, I haven't seen the, the dark gray variety before. I've seen the, the kind of creamy white variety before. But never these guys. Oh. I was getting tunnel vision there. All right, we got a key. Perfect. The, the map seems to kind of move on its own slightly. Did you notice that? We're not centered anymore. There we go. All right. I think... Okay, we can't kill those. I was going to say there are... I thought we could kill those, but maybe not. All right, here's the little poops. Hi, little poops. So, for me, I feel like this is a very good run indeed. And I, I really hope I'm not... Explosive diarrhea. Oh, that was awful. I did jinx myself right there. I... I think that is a brand new pill as well. So we're, we're learning some new stuff. Stuff I've never seen before. Which is exciting. All right, we got a bomb. Perfect. Let's head. So we'll keep exploring this dungeon one more time down here and see what we can find. Oh, these, these guys, all right. I'm gonna die. Grab that. Okay. So I think holy water killed him. We have half a heart. No, we have one and a half hearts. All right. My my recording widget is kind of overlapping my health there at the top, which is not very helpful indeed. I have to move it, maybe bottom right corner or something. Top middle, maybe. I don't know. What's what do we got here? We got some pills. That's all that we. All right, let's let's buy a pill and let's see what happens. Should we use it? We're gonna use it at the boss. That's where we're gonna use it. All right. Short, make short work of these guys really quickly here. All right, let's keep keep going. Is this guy new? He doesn't look the same as the other ones. He looks a little bit different. He also looks like it's very hard to hit him because he keeps barfing up these little slug guys. Okay, we killed him. Perfect. All right. Maybe it was the slug guys that were making the tears or the blood tears or whatever going every direction i'm not sure we'll f we'll figure it out i think it was though uh we left a heart oh yeah it's the one we couldn't reach all right let's go face our boss for this floor hopefully we will win we'll see here we go we'll use our uh versus the dark one i don't have very high hopes I found pills. Not quite sure what that does. Oh, that hurt a lot. Okay. Perfect. Ah, not dodging in time. All right. So far, so good. Make sure. Ow, I dodged right into that like an idiot. I almost did it again. All right. I don't have very high hopes for this run. This might be the end here, but you know what? That's okay. Ow. Please don't hurt me. All right. Is the dark one a harder boss, or am I just not very good at it? Oh, there we go. All right, so we got some stuff, we learned some stuff, and we got killed by the Dark One. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good first episode here. Let me know if you see anything that I'm doing that is just 
god awful if there's anything I could be doing better, which I'm sure there's a lot of stuff, you know. And with that, I will see you guys in the next episode.